This week I'm making a knife out of resin. Hopefully I can get it sharp enough so I can cut something. We're going to pick up the video where I've already made my mould. I made it out of core flute. This is the same material that they make real estate signs from. So let's check it out. So I've made myself a nice little core flute mould. I've put a divider in the middle here. That's to separate the handle from the blade. Now to start with the handle, I'm going to add some triple thermal dust into some epoxy resin and start pouring the first layer. So this triple thermal dust changes from black to red and then to aqua. Now as this resin heats up, it won't take long for us to start seeing a color change. The first half of the handle is now set enough to where I can pour another layer over the top. Now it's not fully cured, but it's definitely set enough to take another layer. I'm going to take some satin silver black and I'm going to pour a thin layer over the top and that'll simulate a piece of the blade being sandwiched between the handle. Okay, one final pour and we can finish the handle side. I've got one final pour for the blade, but before I do that, I just need to take out this center divider. As you can see, I've demolded and squared up the blank on the disc sander. Now the next thing I need to do is trace out my knife pattern and then I'm going to make three holes in the handle and pour some more resin to simulate some steel pins. And then once that's cured, I'll be able to start shaping the knife. Most of you are probably asking yourself, why did he make the blank so thick, especially along the blade part? 
Well, the number one reason was it was convenient for me to do so. That way I didn't have to worry about bulking it up anywhere. And the other reason is this thing feels so cool to hold. It's almost like holding a gold brick.
as you just saw by that last clip, I was able to cut something, but it wasn't very practical. I was able to get a nice edge on here, but I just couldn't get a razor sharp one. Because as I started to fold the resin into a point, it started to splinter off. And that just made it impossible to get a razor sharp edge. Nevertheless, I did make a cool looking knife. I love the way the handle changes colour with heat. That's a really cool thermal pigment from Solar Colour Dust. And the way that the pattern on the blade really gives a Damascus feel to it. That was the Satin Silver Magic Pearl. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check out those pigments. Well, that's all for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.